all right you are welcome again today let's talk about trigonometric ratio of multiple angles one two three trigonometric ratio of multiple angles we want to show that sine 2a is equal to 2 sine a cos a and then the cos 2a is equal to cos squared a minus sine squared a all right in this lesson we are going to prove or we're going to show that sine 2a is equal to 2 sine a cos a and then cos 2a is equal to cos squared a minus sine squared a all right please pay attention to this lesson okay it's very very important now let's go solution sine 2a is equal to 2 sine a cos a now boy you remember that in one of our lessons we proved that sine a plus b is equal to sine a cos b plus cos a sine b is that true yes in one of our lessons we treated that topic we proved that this theory or this expression is true we prove it we derived it so it is true that sine a plus b is equal to sine a cos b plus cos a sine b now in this place now let's replace b with a in this expression anywhere we see b let's replace it with a okay that means we're going to have sine a plus a is equal to sine a in this cos b will change it to be what cos a plus cos a this sign b will change it to sine a all right good now you see that we are having sine a plus a now a plus a is what 2a so we're going to have sine 2a is equal to and then in this place you know we are having sine a cos a plus cos a sine a you know this is just like two things you get it it's just like two things so we can bring it together you say two of sine a cos a you know this this sine a cos a is the same as cos a sine a is that true yes so we bring it together we say two of sine a cos a so therefore you discover that sine 2a is equal to 2 sine a cos a all right yes now let's go let's take the second the second say that cos 2a is equal to cos squared a minus sine squared a now okay you also remember that in one of our lessons we also treated uh trigonometric ratio of compound angles in that one we say that cos a plus b is equal to cos a cos b minus sine a sine b is that true yes now let's go in this expression cos a plus b is equal to cos a cos b minus sine a sine b let's replace b with a okay so that means we're going to have cos a plus a is equal to cos a cos a minus sine a sine a all right now cos a plus a you know when you say a plus a it will give you what 2a so we're going to have cos 2a is equal to now in this place you have cos a cos a so cos a times cos a it will give you cos squared a minus we have sine a sine a so sine a times sine a it will give you sine squared a all right that means cos 2a is equal to cos squared a minus sine squared a now let's hold this let's call it equation one this same expression or this same formula we can transform it to another form you get it now let's go let's just call this formula one okay now let's go you discovered that 
sine squared a plus cos squared a is equal to 1. Hello? Yes, sine squared a plus cos squared a is equal to 1. In this place, let's make sine squared a the subject of formula. So in making sine a the subject, we're going to take cos squared a to the other side. So as it is going, it will be what? Minus. So we're going to have sine squared a is equal to 1 minus cos squared a. Okay? Hold it. In this expression also, sine squared a plus cos squared a is equal to 1. Let's make cos squared a the subject. So when we make cos squared a the subject, we're going to have cos squared a is equal to 1 minus sine squared a. That is, we take sine squared a to the other side. So as it is going, it will be what? Minus sine squared a. All right? So that means that sine squared a is equal to 1 minus cos squared a. And then cos squared a is equal to 1 minus sine squared a. All right? Good. Now, in this, our first uh, formula now we have here now, or expression that we have, that says cos 2a is equal to cos squared a minus sine squared a. Now, in this place, we can actually replace sine squared a with another value. Because in this place, we are solved and we say that sine squared a is equal to 1 minus cos squared a, all right? So, in this place, let's replace sine squared a with another value, which is what? 1 minus cos squared a. You know? They are the same, right? Good. Now, let's go. That means we're going to have cos squared a minus, open bracket, 1 minus cos squared a. Because this 1 minus cos squared a is the same as sine squared a. All right? Good. Now, let's open this bracket. We have cos squared a minus times 1. It will give you minus 1. And then minus times minus cos squared a. It will give you plus cos squared a. All right? Good. That means we're having cos squared a minus 1 plus cos squared a. So in this place, that means we're having cos squared a plus cos squared a minus 1. So cos squared a plus cos squared a, it will give you 2 cos squared a. Then we have minus 1. So therefore, we have another formula that says that cos 2a is also equal to 2 cos squared a minus 1. This is formula 2, all right, or expression 2. Cos 2a is equal to 2 cos squared a minus 1. Let's go again also. In our first expression, that we say that cos 2a is equal to cos squared a minus sine squared a. Here, we can also replace cos squared a with equivalent value, which is 1 minus sine squared a. Is that true? Yes. Now, let's go. That means we're going to have 1 minus sine squared a minus sine squared a hello is it clear yes you know in this place uh, we have cos squared a minus sine squared a we replace cos squared a with equivalent value which is one minus sine squared a so when we say one minus sine squared a minus sine squared a so in this place we are having minus sine squared a minus sine squared a so they are the same so we're going to have 1 minus 2 of sine squared a. Hello. That means that cos 2a is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared a. Okay? Now, in this lesson, we have just proved that sine 2a is equal to 2 sine a cos a. And then, Cos 2a is equal to cos squared a minus sine squared a. Or cos 2a is equal to 2 cos squared a minus 1. Or cos 2a is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared a. Alright? Good. Thank you very much for watching, please. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so. Alright? And then... Remember to turn on the notification, like and share this video. Thank you very much. See you next time.